So this is about the wastewater situation in Victoria. There's three uh, divisions of water management. There's drinking water, storm water, and wastewater management. Uh, drinking water is completely necessary because we all need water. And uh, storm water management is important because uh, before development, water would be accepted by the ground, but now there's uh, pervious, impervious areas everywhere, like, you know, roads and playgrounds and houses and whatever else, and so that water pools uh, and it, it needs to go somewhere so it gets managed. Um, one thing, and, and, and the other thing, is uh, wastewater. So, you know, that stuff that's going down the sink, down the toilet, through the shower, uh, those kind of things. When you have a coastal region um, in an area such as Victoria where I'm living, uh, one of the options uh, to deal with the wastewater is, yes, to pipe it away from the house or the source, uh, but just to send it out to the ocean. Uh, you could technically do this with any body of water, uh, but the problem with doing that with a lake or a river is that you can so heavily contaminate it uh, and it, it can't handle it. Uh, the thing about living on a coastal area like Victoria is that you're pumping into the ocean, which is massive, and they're saying that dilution is the solution. Uh, that's not true. You have great examples uh, of where wastewater uh, being introduced into a water body is bad for the environment uh, and for yourself. You know, there's the potential for E. coli, there's terrible odors, but one major problem that's in Ontario right now uh, is on Lake Simcoe and it's the phosphorus loading problem. There's, there's, too much, there's too much nutrients going into the lake through either, you know, storm, you know, overflow from uh, a farm or uh, nutrients are passing through wastewater treatment plants and it's encouraging plant growth. So this is uh, uh, something that is okay, but once the plants die, uh, they sink to the bottom and they consume oxygen and it affects the environment. Uh, so it affects it because it consumes oxygen when it, when it decays. And, and fish that would normally live there can't because they need more oxygen, they're forced into a new environment and maybe they're susceptible to prey. They're doing the same thing right here in Victoria. Um, I think that they could be affecting the environment in terms of fish and uh, sea life, but also uh, another thing is you're not completing the cycle uh, of, of nature, where you're taking a nutrient uh, such as fertilizer and putting it into our food, and then that's coming to us and we're eating it, and, and then we're flushing it out to the ocean and it's more or less gone forever into the water. Uh, to complete the cycle, what we should be doing is treating the wastewater, uh, for two reasons. One, so that we don't have the environmental problem of habitat, habitat degradation, but also so that we are recycling the fertilizers that are in our food. Uh, what I mean is during treatment, we can recover the fertilizers, you know, the nitrogen and the phosphorus, as biosolids. In Ontario and Europe, it's a very popular uh, method uh, of fertilization, and it's very effective. Uh, one thing, though, is that, you know, it's not very costly, but it, it will cost more money. I mean, you look at treatment first, not treatment, it's going to cost something. But I wanted to suggest it so that you complete the natural cycle of things. This rate of wastewater, uh, you know, removal uh, and getting rid of nutrients is not sustainable because it's not a closed cycle.